you and that's a bit of a tough one to take. Yeah, obviously. The game didn't have much football played. We didn't create anything, neither did they, to be honest, um, apart from that goal in the first half. But other than that, I don't think Josh had a save to make, but didn't do enough in the day to win, to be honest. It wasn't quite the levels that you've reached in recent weeks? No, well, obviously we've had a great start. Um, everybody can see that. We took a knock midweek. Pitch wasn't great, but that's just an excuse. But other than that, today we just didn't do enough. But we've got the bounce back. We've got loads of games left. We've got, I don't know, eight games, nine games. So it's not over yet. We've still got plenty of time. What do you think went wrong today? What do you think the difference was? I don't know, to be honest. We just didn't look like we were playing much football. We didn't get the ball down. We didn't keep it. Um, just that's it, really. We didn't keep the ball. That's all I can really say. It was a bit of a poor goal to lose as well from, yeah, from your point of view, yeah, but from Queen's point of view. Plenty of chances to get rid of it. It's second balls, um, we've hit the shot, rebound, um, yeah, another rebound, and then it's managed to get its way in. But yeah, it's disappointing to lose a goal like that. Do you feel that you were denied a couple of penalties, one neither I'd side of the half? I'd say 100% first half, uh, big Ennis, that's a penalty. I've seen the push on his back. I can't believe the rest not seen it because I've seen it from my way back. Um, but yeah, that's the one I've seen. You talked there about still plenty of games to go and you're, you're not out of it. Dunfermline getting a point today. You're losing last night, yeah. I suppose, was a good thing, but you know, yeah, got to tight. really start uh, picking up wins now. As you can see down the bottom, if I don't know where they're from, from maybe six downwards, it's all to play for. I mean, six points between us and eight, I think it is. Um, so we're all in the mix, it's just to whoever wants it most. Kilmarnock next. Yeah. Doesn't kill much harder. We'll go anywhere um, and be confident we can get a point or three points, um, to be honest with you, because if we start, start the season, we do. Now we've got beat, sorry, 1 0, but they were lucky to get a point that day, so I'm not too worried. I think we can go and get a result there, to be honest. Obviously, they got a great result against yeah. there last night, got off to a great start, and that's probably key in this league, isn't it? Yeah, they've also had a great start last night, and that's just a mountain to climb for there. Um, but they're the top of the league for a reason and they're most likely going to be, win the league or they're 100% going to be in the playoffs so it's a hard place to go but we'll be, we'll be ready to go. You say there's nothing to fear and you just go there and give it up your all so that you can... Exactly, that's all you can do. I mean, what's the point in being afraid to go and play because it's not going to help you. So you may as well go out there confident and try and get three points. Ladies day to day, so <laughs> off upstairs now. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> That's not for me, I'm not, they, they, I've seen them all, they, they seem to be enjoying themselves, but um, I'm, I'm just away home, man, I'm away home. Obviously you want to rest up for next week because it is a massive game. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely, we've had a lot of games in the past, um, I don't know what it is, two weeks, it's five, six games, whatever it is, because of uh, midweek games, but yeah, we'll have to rest up and go again.